Federal officials are apparently furious tonight over the disclosure of an Al-Qaeda suspect's identity following his arrest in Minneapolis. It appears the leak all but destroys any chance the man will cooperate with authorities. And while the FBI launches an investigation into the source of the leak, the suspect's wife is maintaining her husband is not a terrorist. Carol Levin's Amy Hawker reports. He said that she's devastated. She's in a state of shock. For the first time since federal authorities arrested 30-year-old Mohammed Warsami at his Minneapolis apartment Monday, his family is speaking out. She says she needs her husband back, and she said that she knows he's an innocent, and we need him back. And according to government sources, Warsami is not being held as a terrorist suspect, but rather as someone who could help the FBI gather information about 9-11 suspect Zakarias Musawi and Al-Qaeda training camps in Afghanistan. Those same sources say Warsami actually agreed to work with investigators as they build their case against Musawi, as long as news of his arrest was kept secret. Uh, they want him to work for them, uh, so they, they were assuring him not to worry anything and that uh, financially they're going to be able to come up with money to his wife, to his family. Uh, all they want asking him for him is just to work with them. Meantime, Warsami's wife maintains her husband has never been to Afghanistan and is a peaceful man who could not possibly have ties to Al-Qaeda. She doesn't understand what you guys are talking about. Uh, Musawi, others, she, she can't even relate to that. She said she doesn't know. But now that Warsami's arrest has been made public, federal investigators fear their information pipeline is gone and a husband and father will be left to deal with the aftermath. We trust the system. We don't know whether he's guilt or not, but we will let the investigation take its course. We will hire lawyers, and we'll see what happens. Warsami's wife believes her husband has been transferred to another jail outside the Twin Cities. Meantime, advocates in the Somali community will spend the next few days securing a team of lawyers for Warsami, who has yet to be charged with a crime. Paul and I, right. thanks. Thank you me. very much.